In this video, we're going to compare the Logitech MX Keys Mini versus the MX Keys Mini for Mac. These keyboards are very similar, but they have a couple notable differences that we need to go over. Both of these make great alternatives to the Apple Magic Keyboard as they offer some features like backlighting and customization using the Logi Options Plus app that you can't find on an Apple Magic Keyboard. They also both support multi device switching, which is really nice if you're trying to change back and forth between a computer iPad, Apple TV, iPhone, you can pair it up to three devices one time, and then changing devices is as quick and easy as pressing and holding the device pairing button for just a second, and before you know it, your keyboard's already connected to a different device. Both the MX Keys Mini and the MX Keys Mini for Mac use USB-C to recharge and use Bluetooth Low Energy to connect to all the different devices you want to use. You also can buy the Logibolt adapter separately, which is a USB dongle that allows them to connect to legacy devices that don't use Bluetooth. Neither of these devices include the Bolt though, so you have to get that separately. The main difference between the two keyboards is the Mini for Mac doesn't have any Windows symbols on it. It only has Mac symbols, and it also reverses the function and control buttons to perfectly match what the Magic Keyboard uses. This is really nice if you use your laptop keyboard a lot and you actually use the function and option buttons because then you're used to where they're located when you go from laptop mode to desktop mode. Another big difference is that the MX Keys Mini for Mac only comes in the pale gray color, which is kind of disappointing because the graphite color actually matches space gray Apple products perfectly. So I'm really not sure why they didn't offer this keyboard in graphite as well. The MX Keys Mini is available in black, graphite, silver, and rose, so you get more color options if you go with that direction. Another big difference is the MX Keys Mini has a backspace and delete key that are separate, and on the MX Keys Mini for Mac, you get the standard Mac delete key, and you get a sleep button in the top right instead. You can also still press the function button while using the delete key to change if you're going backwards or forwards with your deleting. Additionally, the MX Keys Mini for Mac includes a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, while the MX Keys Mini includes a USB-C to USB-A cable. So the USB-C to USB-C charging cable is a little bit more useful for MacBook users who only have USB-C ports on their computers. So depending on if you use the function and option buttons very much and if you use a MacBook, I would recommend buying the MX Keys Mini for Mac if you're really familiar with that Mac key layout and you don't want those to be reversed. But if you don't care as much about those key locations, then I would buy the MX Keys Mini because you can buy it in more different colors and you have those Windows buttons that are available as well if you end up using it with a Windows computer. Other than that, the keyboards are virtually identical and they're both a joy to use and type on. I have full length reviews for both of these keyboards in the description below, so check those out if you wanna go even more into detail on what all the different features both of these keyboards have to offer. Additionally, I have affiliate links for these keyboards in the description below, so if you wanna make a purchase and support the channel, you can do that at no extra cost to you just by clicking the links in the description below. If you have any other questions on the Logitech MX Keys Mini versus the MX Keys Mini for Mac, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them.